talk a little bit about uh, who your character is in the film to start Absolutely. off. Absolutely. I play, he's a bit of a slippery one. I play a character called, named Adam. Um, and I had the, the real luck to be able to play uh, Gary Cole's son, which to me, as soon as I found out who was playing the, the father of me, I was so excited. I've obviously been a fan of Gary Cole for a long, long time. Um, so we are a father and son serial killer duo. Uh, and we, in my mind, it's sort of like we, like we, we represent sort of this toxic masculinity between the two of us and that my dad raised me to have this real issue with successful women, um, which is kind of his, my father's issue. And he's instilled that on my character my entire life. And he's almost like, uh, I'm not gonna say a killing machine, but I'm very well versed in everything that my father wants me to do when we're out, you know, doing very nefarious and bad things. He's sort of this machine, but the thing with him is that if ever my father is not there to make the orders and make the calls, my character kind of reverts back into being a little bit of a lost child who doesn't know how to make decisions on his own. Then he gets a little, aggressive he gets a little angry and he kind of throws some tantrums and he's very much you don't know what to expect from him mm -hmm. he was fun it was a lot of fun to play yeah yeah um now you've got uh in addition to uh your dad you've got uh sean ashmore sean ashmore who's yeah. unbelievable to work with yeah you've got a you've got a pretty strong cast um yeah. what, what were they both of those guys like to work with oh i mean both brilliantly professional in their own different way. Um, Gary, it really felt like just, God, I mean, he's so good in this, in this role, first off. He's very, you know, just professional, wonderful guy. My whole plan every day was trying to make him laugh as much as I could. And I, I think I got him to crack a couple times. Uh, so that was a ton of fun. And Sean, always willing to just play. And, you know, we've, we had a couple, without giving anything away, we had some pretty intense scenes between him and I in, in the movie. Um, and he was always down to, you know, play with it and switch it up. And that also goes out, there's a big shout out to our director, Julian, as well, for, for allowing us to sort of play with this, this vision of his. Um, what, is there a single moment that... Um you'll remember most from filming? Yes, um, standing on a driveway and I started singing uh, Psycho Killer, Kes Kase, that song, and I started singing it and then very quietly, Gary started singing it beside me until we were both just singing Psycho Killer, Kes Kase, playing Psycho Killers. Uh, that to me, I will always remember being such a fan of his that I was like, I got him, I got him on this one. <laughs> That's cool. Um, what was your favorite scene to do? Oof. It has to be, again, without giving anything away, there is a scene very near to the climax of the film that Julian had a brilliant idea, but it's, it's a huge scene. And he thought, why don't we just do it? Uh, let's just do it in one one shot, which to me, reading that scene, I didn't know how that was quite going to be possible to be done, but he mapped out the whole thing. Um, you'll know the scene when you see it. And again, I don't want to give anything away, but it, it'll be a scene that I'm, pr I'm pretty positive people will realize what scene I'm talking about when they see it. Mm -hmm.